Hello there and welcome to my um, Christmas gift wrapping and basically where I'm buying everything to wrap things up with um, video. So hope you enjoy and here we go. So I'm going to start off with some wrapping paper from previous years. This paper, which has polar bears on it, I've not actually opened yet. I believe it was from last year. And I think this might have been from Home Bargains, along with a couple of other bits of wrapping paper. So I also have some like Christmas tree and snowflake wrapping paper, um, some Santa silver wrapping paper. I also bought this. I'm assuming this is Home Bargains again. Um, it's holographic, like snowflake paper in gold and silver snowflakes. And then I also have some plain brown paper because I quite like wrapping up some adult presents in this. And then I have some like twining that you can wrap around the present. So you'll see that in my wrapping up video, but I thought I'd run you through this. The brown paper's from the pound shop, but I think majority of those would have been either from Christmas shops or from B&M. I did purchase some items today, which I'm going to show you in this video. So I'm going to move those out of the way. One of the items to show you is this massive Merry Christmas bag. This is actually going to be used to carry things to and from my family. Um, I'm probably going to load this up with presents. This, believe it or not, was 99p from Home Bargains. And it's just a massive gift bag. So I thought that would come in handy. And it's got Santa and a snowman on it, as you can see. And it says Merry Christmas. So I just thought that was a nice thing to get. Also, in Home Bargains... They were selling these sort of reindeer Christmas bags. This one was 49p, as you can see, and just a sort of regular size, that one. Um, but I thought that would come in handy for, again, putting presents in for a certain group, for a certain family, or, you know, because I basically sectioned them into who's having what. I also picked up this Santa, Gingerbread Man and Penguin bag. 59p this one and I just thought that would be handy to either put presents in or I might use it to put some decorations in at the end of Christmas that kind of thing so that's that one and I also got this one which is a Merry Christmas snow globey type gift bag which was 89p which isn't too bad again from Home Bargains so that's just got a snow globe on the front which is quite nice I then picked up three rolls of wrapping paper and you may think you've already got four rolls of wrapping paper, but you never know when Christmas paper is going to run out. So I picked up some um, snowman and elf wrapping paper, which is always handy. Also got some like quite grown up paper in gold. That was, there's like wreaths and Christmas tree on that one. That one's pure gold. Um, all the wrapping paper I'm showing you now was from B&M. So there's those two. And then there's this snowflake one, um, 12 meters on these. I'm not sure how many metres the other ones were. Uh, that's four metres. Not sure about that one or that one. And that was four metres. So you get 12 metres for a pound. So four times the length of those other wrapping papers. So that will definitely keep me going for the previous, for the following year, if I don't end up using it this year. Also, I've got some Christmas labels because they come in handy every year. Um, and I like to use them to write on presents and things just because it saves having to buy, you know, tags that you na don't have to sell a tape on. So those were a pound from B&M. Uh, rolls of sticky tape because you never know when you're going to run out. So those were one twenty nine from B&M each, which you get six rolls in each pack, which is basically amazing. I then got myself... This isn't quite Christmas wrapping, but I'm going to show you it anyway. A colour changing reindeer mug. So when you put hot water in it, I think the nose goes from black to red, which I thought was really cool. Again, another Christmas mug, but I, I think I've got a few Christmas mugs now which I can use. And not wrapping related, but I'm going to show you anyway. Some matchmakers, because matchmakers are Christmassy, and I always like the orange over the mint, so I got some of those as well. So... That's my like wrapping segment. If you want to see the twining and things that I've used, I'll attach a picture of some presents I wrapped last year 
and you'll be able to see the twining and some of the labels that I have. I'm not sure where they are, I think they're in a box somewhere that I haven't quite unpacked yet. But um, I thought I'd run you through my Christmas wrapping video. So again, the labels, the sellotape and all of the rolls of Christmas paper that I now have. So there are three there. There are three there. There are... Can I grab those? There are four there. And then there is the brown paper that I use for certain parcels as well. And I bought the gift bags. So I just thought this was going to be quite a nice little video of where I bought my gift wrap and things from. I will write in the comments below if there's anything else I've purchased previously. And I'll try and link below as well if there's anything that I think you guys would want to know about. But yeah, that is my wrapping and gift bag um, video. And let me know what kind of wrapping paper you buy because I just pick up whatever I think is useful and then stagger it between people and presents. So hope you've enjoyed this video and I shall see you soon. Bye. I am not enjoying the fact that it's getting dark quickly, but welcome to this video. Um, I hope you're all doing really well. I'm actually going to do a quick unboxing. Let me move that cushion. I'm actually going to do a quick unboxing because I got a parcel delivered this morning and I haven't actually opened it yet. And I want to show you live on camera what it is. So I hope you enjoy and here we go. Okay, so as you can see, the parcel itself is from the range. I'm going to go ahead, she says, with a bit of hope, and get the box open. Not as big as my last box, but I cannot actually wait for the range to become a store near my, near my workplace because I'm actually extremely excited for that. So, mounting the bubble wrap once again. First item is this massive Santa's Grotto bag. I just thought that was really cool. I'm going to move the box out of the way for a second. I just thought that bag was really cool and it'll come in handy for putting presents in. I might even use it as a Christmas decoration bag once Christmas is finished. But I just thought that was a really decent size. It's actually pretty big. But yeah, and that, I believe, I would have to check my for the exact price but i think that was maybe one pound fifty top of top of the head guess the other item is in here because there's only two items and i really hope this is fine and not injured this is actually a decoration which i've wanted to put up for a while so let's see if i can undo this. I might need a pair of scissors. Let's see if I can do it without. So I'm going to get polystyrene all over the floor and I've just hoovered, which is going to drive me mad. Here we go, we're getting there. Okay, we are getting there. Oh my goodness me, I'm gonna get covered in polystyrene. Okay, on to the item. So, I actually purchased a Merry Christmas dog because I thought that was gonna be really cute to sit on one of the windowsills. And yeah, I just thought it was really nice and quite festive as well. So he will obviously come in and out over Christmas. But I thought it was really cute that it says Merry Christmas on his bone. I would turn it. Uh, there we go. So, yeah. Just thought it was quite festive, quite nice to have. So if you are interested in some Christmas decorations, have a look at the range because they do quite a few. I didn't buy masses of items because I didn't want to overdo it considering I want to try and do a bit of a clear out after Christmas. So I only picked up a few things that I knew I want, would want and use. Um... But I thought I'd show you that on camera. Hope you enjoy. And if you are interested, I'll try and leave the links to both the items down below. So hope you've enjoyed and I shall see you soon.